let's use Fusion 360, a woodruff cutter, and a piece of aluminum to make a quick detach adapter plate for a standard sling. Welcome to Wednesday Widget 48, folks. So this is a great project because it's a little bit above beginner level because you've got to deal with those undercuts. We're using the woodruff cutters to create a little shelf that the ball detents in that sling quick, to, quick disconnect will snap into. But it's really not hard. Let's dive into Fusion 360. Let's create our material and workpiece here. So it's going to be 2 by 1.7 for me and we're going to push pull that out, right click press pull to five and then we'll do actually let's modify that the other way oh so somebody told me let's go the other way there we go let's put a circle in there now what diameter if we measure the sling we can see that the OD of the actual steel part is about just a hair under three eighths but then if we measure the ball detents, they're about 0.43. So we'll blow that out to about 0.45, just for a hair of a clearance. And then what we need to also measure is that little distance to see how much shelf we want left before that uh, wider groove starts, which it looks like about 0.045 should work. So the first circle we'll measure as the 3 eighths, 0.375. Yeah, now I know there's ways you can do this a little bit... Um, faster um, with, mul with one sketch and so forth, but I'm not worried about that here. Now we'll flip to the other side, select this face, and we'll create the 0.45 inch circle. And then what we can do is right click, press pull, and I like to s click that and then start it this way. And then we wanted 0 0.45, 0 0.045 left, so that would be negative 0.5, or sorry, we can do it uh, negative 0.455 is the math. If we check, click on the inspect, click on that face, that face, 0.045 distance. Perfect. Quick interruption, folks, to pitch the Tormach Open House, Saturday, August 1st, uh, at their headquarters in Wisconsin. Why should you go? Uh, John Grimsnow is going to be there. I'm going to be there. Should be a good time. Uh, they have, I think they have like 18 seminars going on. The folks from Autodesk and Fusion 360 are going to be there. Good chance to learn about the machines, learn more about how to use your Tormach. I think they're also going to do some sort of a financial incentive, some sort of a discount on tooling or accessories. I'm not sure the specifics, but uh, link below or information below. I think it's Tormach.com forward slash open house. So if you come, I'd love to meet you and see you there move into cam we'll start with drilling and we will drill with a 3 8 drill and select that face and we're going to change the bottom height to be selection of that and we're going to go offset it by negative 0.2 just to make sure you go really go through Okay, so problem is that that's on the wrong, the work offset's on the wrong side. Well, there's probably a better way to do this, but oh well. Let's go back into CAD or model and do, we'll do construct axis through cylinder like so, and that's all I need. Now we go back into CAM and under our setup, we will do select Z axis and X axis. So there's our Z and then our X axis will be that. Origin selected point can be there. Flip that. Let's see, does that work? Yep, there we go. Actually, no, that's not what I want. Hold on one second. Flip that. There we go. That's exactly what I want. There's my drill. So, how do we create the Woodruff cut profile cam toolpath? There's two ways. Uh, unfortunately, Fusion 360 isn't supporting form tools yet. HSM Works does, and I, it's one of the first things I've noticed that just isn't there. I, I looked online, it looks like Fusion is going to support it at some point. So I got to show you guys how to at least make the form tool because it's so cool and so easy. We'll do that real quick, and then we're going to actually make uh, use a slot mill in the, in the um, tool library. New, new part, new line, select geometry, rough out the size of the tool. You know, I know this is point sixteen twenty five. Come up, come over, make an angle, come all the way up, 
over and close it off. Now start dimensioning it. We know that we're making half the cutter right now. So this is 0.25, it's a half inch shank. 0.1625, we know that's 0.09. We know this to here is 0.05. And this to here is 0.42. Overall tool is about an inch, inch and a half. So whatever, doesn't matter really. And then we will delete, let's see here, get off this, just to go to select. Delete that and choose sketch arc, three point arc. Click once, click twice, and just, you know, I'm honestly just eyeballing the angle here, which is plenty good. And then do create, revolve, and choose profile, axis, and boom. There you have your cutter. And in HSM and in hopefully in Fusion 360, you can import this. The reason that it's really important is it will help you see the curve of the tool um, support shoulder. Uh, what we're actually going to do to make this is go into manage, tool library, um, new tool, and just choose a slot mill, which is fine, but we're going to, you'll see it here, it has a uh, strength shank, oh well. So slot mill, inches, number of flutes is six. And it's a 0.325, no corner radius. The shaft diameter is, we'll say, 0.1. And the flute lengths are 0.09. Shoulder length doesn't really matter. None of that really matters. Um, matters for interference with the part, but I'm not worried about it here. Speeds and feeds. Let's pull up that chart we did in the slitting saw video uh, where we came up with this recipe. And I just copied it and I backed it down. We, well, I started at 400. Well, that's a fact. It's 0.325. There's a fact that it's six flutes and we want one thou per chip. That came up with 4,728 inches a minute. There's no way in hell I'm running that. Um, I only bought one. Usually I always buy two tools in case I break one. I've got a backup. I only bought one. I do not want to cut this at 28 inches a minute. Sorry, I just don't. So I backed it down to 250. 3,000 or so in 17. Honestly, that's still fast, but um, yeah, we'll see. Um, I think it'll be okay. So that gives me my recipe, which is 29.50 and 17.6. Click OK. Close this, and now we'll do 2D contour. Someone said it's a glitch that my Fusion keeps closing that. That's annoying, but oh well, I'll figure it out later. So turn off these filters here and let's do the slot mill and we'll just roll over here and select that edge. And what I'll do is the bottom height I'm going to have come down the distance of the cutter thickness. So the bottom offset will be, or the top will actually be from selection of here. The bottom I will also choose is that same face but say negative point. 093, see what that does first. Okay, I think that looks good. One of the things I already know we're going to want to do, because the cutter is so close in diameter to the hole we're drilling, we want to control where we ramp in and out by saying that it's a pre drilled position. So click on here and choose a ring and that'll dump it in the point and I want to do same, uh, we need to make the lead out the same as well, let's see if that does that. So that's the lead in, uh, let's see here, same as lead in should do it. Huh, I wonder if that's a glitch. Okay, figure it out. So I basically, I have a pre-drilled position selected as a point. You actually don't select the point, you select the rim here, so like so. And then lead in entry is checked, and all I did, I set the radius to zero and the linear lead in distance to 0 0.6. And what happens is that puts the yellow retract line really close to the entry line, and that's what we need. If we say, just for to show off, you know, if you move it to 0 0.08. 5, whatever, you'll see it goes beyond it back up to here. So let's do a quick simulation. 
drills through and slow this down and you can see very importantly we're going to come back and retract without crashing the tool that's what's fun about this and if you see there we've got our little woodruff slot cut one quick tweak we want to do in the 2d contour multiple finish passes two and i'll say 0.015 and what that will do is just ease in and it'll cut it in two passes instead of one full width of cut pass Pucker factor is quite high. All right, the moment of truth. <laughs> Look at that, folks. Isn't that awesome? So, super easy. Hope you enjoyed that uh, relatively quick episode of the Wednesday widget. Take care, folks. See you next Wednesday.